Fighters between the lines. Three, two, one, go! And that's the start of the sandstorm. We've got all six robots moving. And these are the elite of the elite at the competition. We've got High Tide Robotics able to place a hatch panel on, on the cargo ship. Beach City's struggling to place a hatch panel on the front of their cargo ship, and unfortunately they don't. It falls off, but they just grab the cargo and they move around. They're gonna drop that into the into the cargo ship. And here we go over to the Red Alliance. We've got Final Punch here. They're working some hard defense, but it looks like a motor or something else is dislodged in the middle of their robot. And a referee is keeping a close eye on that. High Tide grabbing a piece of cargo from the field, getting it into the rocket, but the hatch panel wasn't secure and that cargo falls out. Going over to the Blue Alliance, let's check up on Eagle Strike. They're working on getting some a piece a hatch panel from their Beach Cities Robotics, drops a piece of cargo into the Blue Alliance rocket. Eagle Strike placing a hatch panel on the other Blue Alliance rocket. They're working hard, they're working furiously. We've got the Scorps playing defense for the Red Alliance. They are pushing Beach Cities Robotics around. Oh, but Beach Cities Robotics is able to still get the cargo in the cargo ship. Meanwhile, Eagle Strike still struggling, but they finally get that hatch panel. Beach Cities Robotics being pushed to the side, dropping a piece of cargo into the cargo ship. They've got six pieces. The Red Alliance has four. And here comes Beach Cities dropping some cargo into the Blue Alliance rocket ship. We've got four pieces of cargo and four hatches on both Red Alliance rockets. And here we go. Here's High Tide and the Scorps. The Scorps have that new suction cup which might let them get onto the other half three climb. While the robot dolphins from outer space continually getting cargo, but it's too late. 294 is already on half three. And the match ends. And it's the Red Alliance.